Not sure what to watch this weekend? <laughs> Use that platform to make change. We begin with the man whose music is as controversial as he is. It would seem that his middle name is Trouble. All eyes on me. This biopic of Tupac Shakur is set to cover the untold story of the late rapper, producer, and poet. The making of All Eyes on Me was not without a bit of drama. It seems that telling the real story of Tupac was originally in the hands of his poetic justice director, John Singleton. Thing is, Singleton and the studio couldn't seem to agree on the right way to tell Tupac's tale, and so he bailed on directing the project and not so quietly. In an Instagram post, Singleton called out the filmmakers involved for not being respectful to Tupac's legacy, stating that they had to go so far so as to sue Tupac's own mom in order to get the rights to tell his story. The movie comes out on June 16th, which would have been the rapper's 46th birthday. Despite the controversies surrounding the film or promises of new perspectives on his life and music, Tupac's story of what it means to be a black man in America, his rise as an artist, and his revolutionary beliefs are as relevant and as compelling now as they were 20 years ago. We must not hate those who have done wrong to us, for as soon as we hate them, we become just like them. Next on the list, rough night, because we've all had them. Although, maybe not as rough as these gals. Five best buds reunite in Miami Beach for the bachelorette weekend of a lifetime. But it all goes dark when their hunky stripper for hire gets dead, and they have to clean up the mess. On the surface, this film could be summed up as a female version of The Hangover, or Very Bad Things, or Weekend at Bernie's. The list goes on. But we suspect there will be more to this comedy than a mere gender flip. We are going to be swimming in dick, girl. Hi, Alice. <laughs> Peter. But Rough Night brings with it something bigger than dildo dealy boppers and drunken babes acting a fool. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Culturally speaking, it's part of a larger conversation around female-driven films. In fact, in 2016, women made up 52% of the U.S. movie-going audience. And last time I checked, that's a majority stake. So it makes sense that studios are responding with more female-friendly fare. They're simply following the dollars. Party starts now! Oh, that was bad. Yeah, we're was in an bad. airport. No. Go, go, get out of here. Jurassic World director Colin Trevorrow is returning to his indie roots with The Book of Henry. And we're pretty excited about this one. Our legacy isn't how many commas we have in our bank account. It's who we're lucky enough to have in our lives and what we can leave them with. Part gritty family saga, part dramatic thriller, part adventure, part coming of age tale, The Book of Henry blends a variety of familiar genres to create something that feels fresh and new. What gets us most eager to see this film, though, is Colin Trevorrow, a man who has been likened to the evil Knievel of film directors by Rodrigo Perez of IndieWire. Trevorrow is probably best known for making the leap from indie darling to mega blockbuster hero in a single bound. It'll be interesting then to see how his experiences in big budget studio land have impacted the way in which he tells smaller stories like this one. Seasoned author and comic book writer Greg Hurwitz wrote this script, and given that it attracted talent like Naomi Watts and Jaden Lieberher, we're guessing the material is pretty top notch. The one thing we do know, we're here now. So I say we do the best we can while we're on the side of the dirt. What's your favorite female driven comedy of all time? Does Showgirls count? Thrust it! Thrust it! Come on! Because if it does, that's totally my pick. Let us know in the comments below. For Hit Fix on Uproxx, I'm Miri Jedekin.